All right, so we've gone around the building. We've taken uh, measurements of the uh, external walls, uh, taken height measurements from the inside. We've counted all the glazing that's on the building. We've looked at the heating, the domestic hot water systems, as well as uh, investigated what insulation levels we have in the building. Now with all this information, once we complete the blower door test, we can take all this information into our energy modeling software and get a pretty accurate representation of our heat loss calculations of the building. So I'm always amazed that uh, I think there would be a lot more people making use of it if, if they knew about it, right? Mm -hmm. But it's, it's just surprising how, uh, how a lot of people don't know about it. Um, well, it's very, very obvious when you take the uh, building down to that pressure difference, it, all you have to do is just put your hand over anywhere where you suspect air is going to be coming in and you can feel it. The, anything that's over about an eighth of an inch gap, I mean, it, it's, it's more pressure than somebody blowing on your hand. I mean, it's so obvious. The other thing too is as you're walking around the building, as you're walking through doorways and stuff, you can just sort of feel the air going by. So if you walk into a doorway and you feel the air going by, you know that there's leakage somewhere beyond there. So you just sort of have to keep following your little senses, find out where those leaks are. And it's pretty typical in doors, uh, any penetration through the walls, windows, anything like that, you're gonna be able to find them in. The whole home energy assessment is going to cost you $150 and for that $150 you're going to get a report which is going to show you the insulation levels of your house, what type of windows you have, uh, it's going to show you roughly what the heat, where the heat loss in the building is and it's also going to give you a game plan as to the things that you can do to minimize your energy costs and for each of those, each of the recommendations we make, it's going to show you what the incentive from the federal government is for doing that. It's also going to give you an approximate cost of how much energy you can save for each of those. So really it's a game plan if you want to make your house more energy efficient, it's a game plan to be able to do that.